The use of point-of-care ultrasound to guide the insertion of central lines reduces complications, shortens procedure time, and has increasingly become the standard of care. The same technique is also used for peripheral IV access. In this video, we demonstrate the ultrasound-guided placement of an internal jugular central line, but the same concepts apply for femoral line insertion. Position your ultrasound screen so that you can see both your patient and the screen. Hold the linear or high-frequency probe in transverse orientation. Begin by scanning the vessels. Arteries are generally smaller, circular, and less compressible. Veins are generally larger, oval, more easily compressible, and can vary in size with respiration. Scan the vessels to find the optimal insertion site. Find an area where the vein is at its maximal size and away from an overlapping carotid artery. Mark this spot on the skin. Set up for insertion using sterile technique. Put on your sterile gown and gloves and set up your central line kit. Then prep and drape the skin. You might need an assistant to help you apply the sterile probe cover. Have your assistant place gel on the probe and then help you place the probe inside the sterile cover. Remember to remove any air bubbles caught under the cover. Apply sterile gel to the outside of the probe cover. Pick up the probe in your non-dominant hand and use a two-finger grip to lightly hold the probe in transverse orientation. Center the vein on the screen and note its depth. Look at the skin as you insert the needle through the skin, then switch your gaze to the screen. Once through the skin, change your needle angle to a shallower angle. Keep the vein in the center of your screen. The needle tip appears as a small, bright, echogenic spot. Once you've identified the needle tip with your ultrasound probe, advance the needle slightly and then stop. Advance the probe slightly and again visualize your needle tip. Never move the probe and the needle at the same time as you will lose the image of the needle on the screen. Once you have some experience with the transverse view, consider adding in a longitudinal view at this point. When you're satisfied that the needle is directly above the vein, rotate the probe from transverse into the longitudinal view. Once you are entering the vein, turn your gaze from the screen to the needle and confirm vein entry by noting the flashback of blood. Use your clinical skills to confirm venous rather than arterial placement by checking for pulsating flashback. At this point, you can put down your ultrasound probe and proceed with the central line insertion as you normally would. Always anchor your probe hand on the patient to make sure your probe doesn't wander off target. This gives you tactile feedback that you are not moving the needle in relation to the patient. If the needle is not easily visualized, bounce the needle a bit, as this movement will be easily seen on the ultrasound screen. And if this is totally new to you and you feel uncomfortable using the probe and having a needle in your hand at the same time, start by using the ultrasound machine to landmark the vessel. Once you've marked the ideal insertion site, note the vein depth and put down the probe. Then proceed based on your visual memory of what you've seen. Patient position can vastly change the anatomy under the skin. Optimize position prior to attempting the procedure. Minimizing head rotation reduces the chances of having the common carotid artery lie immediately posterior to the internal jugular vein and therefore reducing the risk of arterial rupture. Trendelenburg, though it may be uncomfortable for the patient, can make a huge difference and only needs to occur for the 30 to 60 seconds when you are cannulating the vein. Humming, breath holding, and Valsalva can all be helpful as well. Some ultrasound machines have needle enhancement software which highlights the needle, making it easier for you to follow on the screen. Practice makes perfect. The more you use it, the better you get. Start by using POCUS in the transverse plane, and as you get better, start incorporating the longitudinal plane as well. Don't apply too much pressure on the skin, as this will occlude the vein, making it impossible to see. Consider using an arterial line setup, because the needle and catheter are longer, when trying to cannulate a deep peripheral vein in an obese patient. Use local anesthetic when inserting any catheter. Since you aren't using palpation for the anatomy, you needn't worry about distorting it with a small amount of lidocaine. 